What is a researcher? It's very important to know that a researcher, according to ASTI classifications, is someone who holds at least an official research position within a certain ag agricultural research agency and that this person has at least a bachelor degree. So uh, researchers that, are, that do not hold um, a bachelor degree should not be included uh, in the survey as researchers. People you should include are uh, long-term consultants and long-term contractual staff that are perhaps not on the official payroll of an institute, but at, that are full-time engaged within an agricultural research institute. You should also include management positions, uh, such as directors, deputy directors, or heads of research programs. So even if they have more like management functions or administrative functions, they should still be counted as researchers according to our classifications. And you should only count the people that are actually uh, on post, so people that are um, on long-term unpaid leave or that are undergoing uh, training, a PhD training for example, in another country and are away from a national research institute for a couple of years. Uh, should not be included and neither should be uh, positions that have been approved officially but that haven't been filled. In certain countries, especially in Francophone Africa, uh, expats or expatriate researchers still play quite an important role in the conduct of agricultural research. Uh, you should not include those in the general uh, researchers um, information that we collect but uh, we add separate questions to the questionnaire where we collect a type of information. ASTI also collects information on uh, research support staff. And who falls under research support staff according to ASTI definitions? Well, first of all, there's technical support staff. And technical support staff is defined as any staff member who directly supports the design and conduct of agricultural research activities, but who does not hold a formal researcher position. It's even possible that certain technical support staff might hold a master degrees or a bachelor degrees, but as long as they don't have official researcher position, they can be classified as technical support staff. And this include people like uh, research assistants, laboratory assistants, etc. Uh, then next there's administrative support staff. So those are staff members providing uh, administrative support as the name implies. Um, here you should include people uh, like, like secretaries, uh, like, like finance people, but also people in, involved in the HR department of an agency, etc. etc. And then finally there's a category that we call other support staff and under other support staff you can uh, report all remaining staff uh, that are not classified in the researcher categories, in the technical support staff category or in the administrative support staff category. And mostly under this category fall people uh, like laborers, guards, drivers and so on. ASTI also collects detailed information on the research focus of agricultural research agency. So we collect uh, exact information on the number of researchers working in specific commodity areas. So in each country we've identified roughly 40 different commodity categories and ASTI focal points and, um, and respondents of agricultural research surveys are then requested to make an estimation of the time allocation of researchers across these various uh, commodity areas. Uh, in some institutes that's quite a challenge, in other institutes it's easier. Clearly when you're a national fisheries research institute you spend 100% of your time on fisheries, but if you are a, a crop research institute you tend to uh, diversify more broadly and are involved in a lot more different types of crop activities. So uh, it's important to make a good estimation of the time allocation of researchers across these various crops then. Um, ASTI looks at the um, allocation of um, research staff across various lines of research. Uh, we don't look at the funding of agricultural research programs across these various commodities.